Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here with the Blitzy Creative Team, and today we're going to work on a project for our December dailies, or rather, how to document what we're going to put in our December daily. At least that's how I'm going to do it. So I know a lot of us do a December daily project, but this time I decided that I'm going to make little notes in these 3x3 three three squares in my Project Life album, and I use a 9x12 album. I'm also going to show you all the products that I use, and I'm going to flip through them here. It's the Pink Fresh Studios new Christmas line called Christmas Memories, or Christmas Wishes, I'm sorry, Christmas Wishes. So I'm going to kind of talk over while I'm showing you all these different products. I always do a December daily, but I never finish a December daily. So I thought that this year I would do something different, and I would kind of have a place to keep some notes every day, and that way I can go back and work on my December daily after the holidays when it, everything's not so busy and chaotic and I can really get all my memories documented and get it completed because that, that's the whole point, right? Is to get something done and, and have all of the thoughts and ideas and experiences documented somehow. And if we don't finish them, then it kind of defeats the purpose, right? And I know we're probably all guilty of that. Please tell me I'm not the only one. So I'm, I've talked through all the products here, but there's a great stamp set, there's some puppy stickers, there's 6x6 six six paper that is single sided, which works perfectly for this because I needed it to be white on the back. And then there is also a collection pack that has 12x12 12 12, um, papers. Look at those little drawings. Are they not so adorable? I think they're so cute. I'm going to I'm gonna try and show you another project using this collection and some of those cute little drawings of the animals and stuff. It's it's a real, it's going to be really fun, I think. It's be coming up probably after this video sometime before Christmas, hopefully. So, the main part of this collection and the reason what inspired my idea for this project are these little acetate numbered like advent squares. So, they go 1 to 25, I believe. And they're probably I think they're about 2 by 2. So this is my Project Life album. Like I said, it is 9 by 12. And so these divided page projectors give you 12 3 by 3 squares, which works perfectly because I'm going to go 1 through 24. And then on the back will be just for, or the next page will be for Christmas Day. So I'm going to cut some pattern papers to fit into these little um, squares out of all the different papers in the collection. I use the 6x6 six six and the 12x12. 12 12. And the way that I attach those little acetate pieces is by using my tiny attacher, which is just a stapler. So you can see here I have them all attached. I just stapled them on and <clears throat> I didn't use any glue or anything like that, just the staple because I wanted to be able to tuck things behind it or something. And if it has a pattern on the back, then I'm going to go ahead and glue a piece of just plain white cardstock to the back because I need a blank surface to write on because that's how I'm going to document what happened that day. So I pulled out my little embellishment tray here and I have all my embellishments over to my right and I'm going to pull out these die cuts. They're really cute die cuts. They have some cute little images. And I'm going to go through and embellish each one of these cards. Now I don't embellish it the same way I would a normal project or a card or a layout or something like that. This is just to be aesthetically pleasing to me, like something I want to look at and something I want to to turn to every day to document my memories on the back of. It's not it's not the same kind of project, I would say. I just want to give them a little something extra. And then on certain days, I put certain things that are specific to what I think is going to happen that day. Of course, I don't know because it's not December yet. But I know that towards the beginning of the month, we get our Christmas tree. I know that we do our Christmas shopping kind of early and that I spend several days wrapping presents. And those are things that I know that I'm going to do. So what I did, and you'll see it coming up here in a minute, is I referenced my calendar and looked at what day of the week fell when. So in other words, when is the 4th of December? Is that a Friday? Is it a Monday? Is it a Tuesday because obviously we're going to do different things when it's not a typical work day. So while I don't know exactly what's going to happen when, I can have a little bit of an idea and really it doesn't really matter because it's just 
you know, I'm just embellishing it for them to be cute, not not really to say, okay, this is exactly what we did that day. The back of the card will do that for me. So like I said, I'm just going to go through and embellish, and I'm also going to use some different planner stamps on the back. I have a stamp that's like a list so that I can document, you know, remember to put each thing that I did that day or something like that. So like I said, I'm just going to continue embellishing these, and then I'm going to have some still photos at the end that are going to show it more up close and also what it looks like in my project life notebook. So thanks guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this project and I would love to see how you plan on documenting this holiday season. Are you going to do a December daily or do you do something more like this on a smaller scale where it's just a with no photos or anything like that? Anyhow, I like the way it turned out. I think it's going to be good for me. I think it's going to work. And as you can see here on the back, I have stamped a few little boxes there for some lists. So thanks guys again so much for watching. Make sure to check out Blitzy for all of your crafting supplies and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.